This video is going to focus specifically on looking at exponential equations and using any and all exponential or logarithmic properties in order to solve the equation. So the first thing that you want to look for when looking at an exponential is you want to ask yourself a question and you want to ask um, if you can rewrite one or both sides into the same base. So that is your question, is can you rewrite one or both sides of your equation into the same base? If you can, then that's the simplest uh, tack to take because the only property you have to use is the exponential property which says if you have equal bases then your powers are equal. So here we want to see if we can do that. Well specifically in this equation if you look I have 4 and I have a 16. So what I want to do here is I want to rewrite 16 into um, into a 4 with power. So in this case I have 4 to the 3x minus 5 and this can be the same thing as 4 squared. Because we can do that we can apply the rule which says if your bases are the same then your powers are the same. So here we are going to solve 3x minus 5 equals 2. So in this case, we get that x is 7 thirds. Now, if we look at the second one and we ask the same question, can you rewrite your bases into the same base? The answer here is no. There is nothing I can do to 5 or, or sorry, to 15 or 30 that is going to give me the same base. So because of that, we have to use the log properties. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to take each side and we are going to raise it to the log. And then doing that, we're going to follow the properties we have. So here I have the power rule. So the power rule says it comes down in front. So this becomes x log of 15 equals the log of 30. I need to get x by itself. So x is going to be the log of 30 divided by the log of 15. And you then would use your calculator to find your result. So here we would get that x is 1.256. Alright, let's look at a couple more examples here. So first, let's do this one. So again, when I look at it, I want to ask, can I make these bases the same? Well, I have a base of E and a base of 4, so the answer there is no, I can't. So I'm going to raise each of these. Because I have an E, instead of raising it to a log, I'm going to raise it to the natural log. So this is the natural log of E to the x minus 4 equals the natural log of 4 to the 2x over 3. What we're going to do here is we are going to um, apply the power rule. So I have the power rule here and I have the power rule here. So I need to apply it on both sides. So this is going to become x minus 4 natural log of e equals 2x over 3 natural log of 4. Now the other thing that's going to happen is that the natural log of E, this is going to undo each other. And so we can go ahead and simplify that out. So here this becomes x minus 4 equals 2x over 3 natural log of 4. Now I need to work on um, trying to solve and so here, 
one of the things that we're going to do is we are going to multiply this whole thing by 3. When we do that, it's going to get rid of the 3 on this side. And so here we're going to end up having 3 times the x minus 4 is equal to 2x natural log of 4. Distribute that 3 through and we get 3x minus 12 is my 2x natural log of 4. We then need to move everything over. So I'm going to have 3x minus 2x natural log of 4 is equal to 12. So what I did was swap my sides. I can then pull the x out. So pulling the x out leaves me with 3 minus 2 natural log of 4 equals 12 and then get x by itself. So my x is equal to 12 over 3 minus 2 natural log of 4. The last thing to do is evaluate that. So in your scientific calculator you'll come out with 52.768. All right, let's look at this next one. So here I have a base of E and a base of 10. So this is going to be the same thing. And so here the first thing I'm going to do is raise everything to my natural log. So this is the natural log of E to the 3x minus 6 equals the natural log of 10 to the x plus 2. So here I can then do just like I did before. I can apply the power rule on the left side and I can apply the power rule on the right side. So here this ends up being 3x minus 6 natural log of e equals x plus 2 natural log of 10. I have again this natural log of E, so just like before, this is going to undo each other. So here we're going to have 3x minus 6 equals, and then the other thing I need to do here is I need to actually distribute my natural log of 10 into my parentheses. So this is going to then be x natural log of 10 plus 2 natural log of 10. I need to get all my x's to one side, so I have 3x minus x natural log of 10 is equal to 6 plus 2 natural log of 10. Pull the x out, leaves behind 3 natural logs of 10 equals 6 plus my 2 natural log of 10 get my x by itself and I have 6 plus 2 natural log of 10 and the whole thing is over 3 minus the natural log of 10. So when we evaluate we end up getting that x is 15.206. Alright, last but not least here again I can raise each to my log. So this is going to be the log of 2 to the x plus 1 equals the log of 5 to the 2x. With both of these again I have my power rule. And so in this case I've got the x plus 1 log of 2 is equal to my 2x log of 5. I need to distribute the log of 2 into both sides. So this is going to end up being x log of 2 plus the log of 2 equals 2x log of 5. I need to get everything um, to one side, so I'm going to have the log of 2 is equal to 2x log of 5 minus x log of 2. So in this case, pull the x out, and I have 
the log of 2 is equal to x times 2 log of 5 minus the log of 2. And so here we're going to end up with x equals my log of 2 divided by the junk, so 2 log of 5 minus the log of 2, which is going to give me a value of 0 0.274. Alright, so there you go. In a nutshell, that is some different approaches that you can use when dealing with trying to solve exponential equations um, in pulling on all of the properties from exponents and logs that you have. Okay, so if you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.